uh, more information. Um, so if uh, if you are in a nation that is struggling with feeding your people with uh, enough protein, um, if you have a coastline like um, Palestine, Gaza, and South Africa in particular, uh, South Africa's uh, fishing industry, if you want to regenerate your fish population, cast your bread upon the waters and it shall return unto you tenfold. The fish love bread, especially old, dried, crusty bread. So in America, I know we have old bread that expires and once it's past shelf life, it can't be sold. And it's probably just thrown into the landfill in droves. So that is a export, a commodity that would reinvigorate your fish population. And I would suggest that you get some kind of expert in fish management in a wildlife habitat to help you reinvigorate it. But one of the be most basic things you can do is just feed the fish. If, um, if their environment has been destabilized by fishing and trawling, then what they have is a loss of habitat, which is, it goes to their stomachs. So, um, if you can import America's or the developed nations that, that throw our old bread into um, the landfills, uh, you can feed your fish that way. It's probably get it really cheap. Um, that's one thing that the nations can do to uh, feed your people is throw bread into the sea. Um, don't wipe out your fish population though. What you want to do is make sure that you feed them for a while till they respawn and repopulate, then start to, to fish. You want to make sure that you manage your fish population because if you don't and you overfish it, then you'll have nothing. So you reap what you sow and you don't reap what you do not sow. Um, <laughs> this is, our world is cause and effect. So if, uh, if we cause something, then we need to do something about it. And um, sometimes the best thing is to do nothing. And sometimes the worst thing to do is to do nothing. Mm -hmm. So each situation needs to be assessed and, um, and then reassessed. And if, uh, <laughs> if you want some good advice, my suggestion is get yourself three good nurses and let nurses take a look at it because nurses are problem solvers, we're investigators, we're jacks of all trades, and we're managers of priorities. So uh, I'm an expired licensed nurse, um, but I'm still a nurse. And uh, that's that's the best thing you can do for your people and for your nation. If, if you wanna get better at what you're doing, get nurses to take a look at it and hack at it. Okay. Medical doctors too. Nursing and medic medicine work together. It's left hand, right hand. Doctors are the right hand and nurses are the left. So, um, you know, get yourself a good nurse and a good doctor.